Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007, and today we're looking at Mobster Eggs. So, as the name would suggest, this allows you to capture other mobs using normal eggs. So, this is a really cool plugin. There's lots of things you can configure with it. Um, I guess it's a bit like Pokemon, so you have a chance to capture a mob when you throw an egg at it. You can set different chances for each mob, and you can even make it cost the player uh, an amount of money when they actually successfully capture it. So if I go ahead and place some random mobs down, I've just put a, put a load of random different ones, and what we can do is see if we can try and capture them with these eggs that I have in my inventory. So all you need is just a normal chicken egg, and you just throw it at a mob, and if it doesn't capture them, it's going to damage them. So if they're on very low health, it may kill them, and you have a 30% chance by default for it to be captured. So there we go. Uh, they disappear, they go into an egg, and you get a message in chat. So if we do MTE help and then MTE info, that's going to show the chance of catching a mob, which is 30%, and it's going to show all of the different mobs that you can capture. So if you do MTE reload, obviously that is going to reload the config file if you make any changes. And what we can do, we can just go around spamming this egg at all the different mobs and seeing if we can get loads of different eggs from them. So as you can see, sometimes it takes quite a few eggs to uh, capture a specific mob, but for all of these, it is 30%. So we'll have a look at the config file soon, and then we can see how we can actually change things up and make it either easier, harder, or more expensive to capture these mobs. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel, and if we go into the mobs to eggs folder, we can see the config file and the languages file. So if we go into the config.yml to begin with, uh, there's a few different things that we can change in here. So up at the top, do we want to be notified when there's an update? Do we want to be able to spawn baby chickens? Use an economy. So this is pretty cool that you can use an economy feature. So it actually charges people when they do a successful capture. Um, so do you want to allow spawner changing and allow custom name catching if uh, a mob's got a name tag on them? Refund egg on fail. Uh, yes or no, so that could be a bit overpowered if you um, leave that true. And then use permissions, so true or false. So obviously you can give each mob a permission, so if a player doesn't have the permission they won't be able to capture it. And then here we have the mob section, so all of the different mobs in Minecraft, there's so many now, uh, loads of new ones have been added, so I, I don't even recognise some of these. But they each have a spawn chance and a price. So. What you can do is change the price to whatever you want. You can maybe even disable the mobs. So you might not want people capturing certain mobs. You might want certain mobs to be really difficult to capture, or you might want them to be super expensive. So you can just go ahead and change all these prices, put zeros on them. You can make them cheap, expensive, whatever you want. Um, but it's pretty cool that you can do that. So if we go back and go into the messages, folder there is obviously the English language.yml so in here we have a few different things we have obviously the mob list with all different mobs you can change colors if you want we have the prefix and we have various messages that we will see in chat if people try and um, for example catch a sheared sheep or a tamed mob or baby mob etc um, so just be aware of that you can always change it if you want but you don't have to but that is everything in the config files if we go over to the spigot page as you can see, it is um, a brand new plugin. It's updated on the, well, today in fact, and it was first released this month. And as you can see, um, there's a lot of information here. There are all the permissions and things about the config file. So if you have any issues, um, talk to this guy on Discord or send him a message on Spigot. But that's it for me. If you want a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.